Hello and welcome to Bunex Investment Group. Today we are going to talk about a simple trading strategy that will help people who do not have enough time to analyze the market. The strategy we will talk about does not need drawing of levels or any kind of analysis other than checking for setups. But before we jump into the whole video, be sure to check out our free signals telegram channel. The link is right in the description below. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell icon. Let's make things clear before we delve into the whole content of this strategy. Not any strategy is 100% accurate, but strategies that I share on this channel will give you a higher edge and will give you higher probability setups that if you execute with proper risk management, you will be able to make money out of them. Firstly, we need to define what swing trading is. Basically, swing trading refers to the medium term trading style that is used by forex traders who try to profit from price swings. It is trading style which requires patience to hold your trades for several days at a time. Swing trading stands between the two popular trading styles which are day trading and position trading. Most traders are day traders and uh, big institutes or other hedge fund institutions are position traders where they enter a trade and hold it for over six, even a year, six months to a year. So this implies that setups should be observed on the larger time frame. Since most retail traders take trades on the smaller time frame, they usually get trapped by larger time frame moves imposed by the market makers. In this strategy, we will be observing the charts from the H4 time frame, and the only setups we will be taking are the H4 confirmed M's and W's. This will be easier than you think. The higher time frame M or W pattern is frequently identified pattern and is a particularly good reversal pattern. The following diagram shows the reasons for the movement in terms of the market maker's use of the pattern. So here is the pattern anatomy. When we are forming a higher time frame M or an H4M, the first move is meant to induce traders into taking long. This is particularly for an M and it is also true for Ws. So this move was meant to induce traders into taking long positions. After the, uh, the, the amount of uh, contracts was reached that the market makers re uh, wanted, some traders, uh, the market was pushed back and within that region, some traders took shots in this region. Then after that, mind you, this is happening on an H4 time frame. You will be probably in confusion of what is trying to happen with the market. So those that took shots positions will get stopped out here after this uh, move was actually imposed. And some traders were actually going long within this move, within this price. Then in this region, those that took the long get stopped out within this move. So if you understand the anatomy of these patterns, you know where exactly to end up. And your entry will be on the second leg of this pattern. However, it will require you a lot of patience to wait as this pattern forms. So your entry will be looked for within this region. As you can see from my illustration, this M has the first leg within almost the same region, or is the second leg within the almost same region as the first leg. This is more accurate if the second leg is slightly above the first leg. However, we have to confirm this pattern using the RSI or the TDI. There should be a clear divergence being reviewed between the price as well as the relative strength index. As mentioned earlier, our time frame will be the H4 time frame. You should keep in mind the timing to look for these moves. If you haven't watched the perfect times to look for entries, check out the video on this channel. Here is the strategy definition. 
This strategy is very simple. It uses one exponential moving average, which is the 5 EMA. The first step is to wait for a clear first leg formation. To get an entry price, one must come, the price must come back to the region of the first leg or slightly exceed the region. To confirm the setup, the RSI line must show significant divergence. Wait for H4 candle closure above or below the 5 EMA. So here are the trading parameters. For any trade taken with this methodology, I recommend putting the stop loss at 50 pips and the take profit at 150 pips. Not very well. Whenever a trade moves 30 pips into profit, move your stop loss to break even. This is a golden rule because these trades mostly um, move in to, 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 to 30 pips region very quickly but however they will come back to take off your stop loss so whenever a trade moves 30 pips into profit move your stop loss to break even you should not risk more than five percent of your account on one trade so let's have examples on the charts so this is odd against dollar if you are a trader or if you've been following up with australian dollar against years you probably know that it initiated its cycle in March this year actually it initiated its rise in March however within that rise we were issued very good H4 setups that if you do you did not have enough time to analyze the market you could have probably benefited out of them so the first thing is to see the first leg after seeing the first leg you have to wait for the second leg within that region or slightly exceeding the first region so this one exceeded slightly the first region making this our our setup that we are looking for then on the tdi we had the first leg out of bands and the second leg was actually inside bands you can also do this with the rsi uh, indicator doesn't uh, mean you only need the TDI you can actually do it with the RSI indicator then after having this um, divergence we're going to be, we are going to wait for candle closure above 13 and 150 pips was going to be booked then here here we are going to hit our target because this point was 178 pips and our setup our setup was crystal clear with the first leg uh, with the second leg in the region of the first leg and a spike exceeding the first leg um, revealing that stop loss were being taken out then um, on the RS uh, on the TDI we had a clear divergence making this a beautiful setup and we are going to hit our target then after that we had another setup after prices moved 30 pips, you put your stop loss at, 30, uh, uh, at entry. After it has moved 60 pips, you move your stop loss to 30 pips. That is a, a, a simple technique of trailing stop loss manually. But if you have a trading station, you can actually set the trading station to trail your stop loss automatically. However, that there is a higher risk that your trade will be closed with less profit if it is being traded. Uh, they're trailed uh, automatically so we were going to have approximately 30 pips within that trend so this is basically um, the concept for this strategy we'll try to, to, to observe it on another one this is euro against dollar on euro against dollar we saw a very beautiful M pattern here um, and a spike to the above signifying that stop loss were being taken out here and um, we were going to end after candle closure from uh, candle closure below the, th the 5 EMA, which is the red EMA. Uh, we were definitely going to end after candle closure below the 13 EMA. And there was a spike to the above outside structure showing that there was there were stop loss being hit. And on the TDI, we had a beautiful divergence, meaning that this was a very crystal setup. 
that we are going to hit our 1 is to 3 risk to reward ratio of 150 pips. Then we add another setup here where we had a, a beautiful uh, tread. We had uh, the first leg being outside bend and the second leg being inside bend. And then possibly going to get approximately 90 pips since the market is then retraced before hitting our target. So, as I say uh, always, traders who trade like robots are the ones that make money in the market. If you trade like a human being uh, who lets his or her emotions or greed to take place within this system, I tell you trading is not for you. So you need to train yourself to trade like robots which trades only if their rules have been satisfied. So I've given you the rules of, of the pattern to look for. This is when you do not have enough time to analyze the market. Uh, you only uh, check your markets after every candle, after every H4 candle closure. So that means per day you just check your mobile MT4 uh, six times per day, only that. And whenever you see candle closure below the, 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 the 5 EMA after the setup has been issued, that's when you enter and leave your trade plan by itself. As I always say that uh, without discipline, you will never be consistent. And without consistency, you will never achieve the goal. Stick to the rules we discussed. And do not give yourself pressure. Do not give yourself pressure from Instagram posts. Uh, of reckless traders trading is a business and it's a business whereby large institutes are actually raking in profits through it in conclusion follow your plan without deviation and hesitation to act on that note thank you for watching i can subscribe and check out our free signals telegram channel this is the link in